Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a quick look at work done by torque. Now there's an analogy between work done by torque and work done by a force acting over linear displacement. Notice that it's a dot product between the force and the displacement and of course if they're pointing in the same direction the angle between them is zero and so we have the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them and if it's zero cosine of zero is one. Same goes for the work done by a torque. Notice it's the dot product between the torque and the angular displacement. But now, what are the directions of those? Well, you can find the direction of the torque by taking the cross product between the positional vector and the force. And you can see that if you use your right hand rule, that the torque will then point out, out of the board. If you think of theta as being a displacement in angle, but notice that we take the vector quantity of it, Think of the angular velocity as a vector quantity. Curl your fingers in the direction of omega. If your thumb points outward, so that means that the direction of omega is outward as well, in the same direction as the torque. And therefore, so we can take the displacement in terms of angle as a vector quantity, also pointing outside the board. So you can see that the angle between the torque and the angle of displacement, the angle is zero. And so simply, that means that the magnitude of the work will equal to the magnitude of the torque times the magnitude of the angle of displacement. Alright, so we can also use an integral format if the torque is a function of theta. If the torque is not a constant value, you will have to integrate it. So then it becomes the integral of the torque dot the d theta. Again, if in the same direction, it's simply torque times d theta. And you can go from the initial angle to the final angle. And again, this is a simplistic format because if torque is a function of the angle, then of course the, angle, the integral will be slightly diff more difficult, slightly different. And notice that if it's not, then it's simply torque times the change of the angle of displacement. Or you can say work is the change in kinetic energy. The change in kinetic energy will be the final minus the initial kinetic energy, which is half times the moment of inertia times omega final squared minus half times the moment of inertia times omega initial squared. So that is how you deal with work done by a torque. And that is how it's done.